Every year, the City of Boston hosts a celebration for the over 100 arts and cultural organizations that receive Boston Cultural Council grants. We were ready to have this celebration in March when we were hit by COVID-19. While we couldn't hold that event, we didn't want to let this time go by without celebrating the arts and cultural organizations that help bring creativity and the arts to the people of Boston. Not being able to gather will continue to have a devastating impact on the creative sector, a network of artists, makers, teachers, venues, and organizations that contribute to our economy and keep us connected. Let's remember to keep supporting our city's arts organizations. Remember that we need culture and we need to connect in times of crisis. And that when it comes to recovery and rebuilding, we want to emerge as a resilient community that has cultural equity at its core. I'm going to let the Boston Cultural Council say more in their own words, but first I would like to introduce Mayor Walsh. Hi, I'm Mayor Marty Walsh. I want to congratulate all of the organizations that are receiving the Boston Cultural Council grant this year. The mission of this grant program is to support arts organizations across all of our neighborhoods, enhance quality of life in our city, and make sure that everyone has access to cultural resources. Each of this year's grantees plays an important role in shaping Boston's identity as a municipal arts leader. We're proud to support their work, especially as many overcome significant challenges associated with the COVID-19 pandemic. The arts are very important to our city's history and our future. They help us build community and social resilience. That's why we're making the arts a part of our plan for an equitable recovery here in Boston. Today, we've awarded more than $1.5 million to arts programs through our BCC grants, and we'll continue to support great organizations that make a real difference in our communities. Congratulations to all of this year's awardees, and thank you for all that you do in our city, especially during these difficult times. In 2018, we developed the Boston Cultural Council Equity Statement to further promote cultural, economic, and racial diversity in the arts. Emphasizing advancement of equity in the arts is especially important now as we intensify strategies and policies for combating racism and discrimination in Boston. To make our granting process more equitable this year, we developed a new funding strategy that better supported small to medium-sized organizations. We're also continuing our Model Equity Organization Awards, which are an additional grant of $5,000 to three organizations who are doing exceptional equity work both internally and externally. So without further ado, we'd like to present those organizations to you now. Their vision, a Boston defined by justice, equity, and artistic innovation, is evident through their programming, audiences, and staff. They lead in social change throughout the city by providing a platform for sharing underrepresented narratives of historically marginalized communities. Their audiences are 43% people of color. They allow more accessibility with a pay-what-you-want pricing model. Their programming, 75% of main stage plays over the last five seasons, written by playwrights who identify as people of color and 60% written by women. Their hiring processes, 75% of actors identifying as people of color and 47% of designers, musicians, stage management, and choreographers. Similar diversity enriches their board, staff, and teaching artists. Lastly, the honoree does not separate its artistic vision from its justice vision, staking a claim that justice and equity are not siloed from artistic practice, but rather part of it. Their additional funding will help in their continued efforts to improve pay equity for staff and crew. Congratulations to Company One Theater, represented by Karthik Sobramian, Interim Managing Director. They demonstrate multiple creative and simultaneous approaches to serving the community with rich diversity in programming and interactive involvement. Their ambition and energetic emphasis on Asian Pacific Islander populations models concern for the immigrant experience overall, and especially now in the U.S. With speed of luxury housing development for new residents, Chinatown is now the Boston neighborhood with both the lowest median income and the highest median rent. Within this, our honoree maintains a strong ethnic group identification, social connectedness, and family cohesion, all proven protective factors against the mental distress that threatens this redeveloping neighborhood. Our honoree models equitable practice for others at a systematic level, improving the large context for arts audiences, artists, and arts organizations in the region. How? Through collaborative placemaking programs, artist services, presentation, and education programs. Their additional funding will support and strengthen community-centered residences and artists who celebrate the Asian Pacific Islander perspectives and viewpoints. Congratulations to the Boston Chinatown Neighborhood Center. 
represented by Cynthia Wu, director of the Powell Arts Center. Their mission of diversity through dance offers high quality training to talented, disadvantaged young Boston neighborhood dancers and reaches out to diverse audiences for their performances. Its founder grew up in Roxbury and Jamaica Plain and joined a street gang as a teenager, yet also won a scholarship to the Boston School of Ballet. He later became the first African-American to dance with the Boston Ballet. Recognizing that without that scholarship, he would not have found a career in dance, he has provided opportunities to youth from under-resourced communities in greater Boston for 25 years. For 18 years, City Ballet of Boston has produced the Urban Nutcracker each winter with scenes set in present-day downtown Boston. Productions include autism-friendly and LGBTQ versions. Their additional funding will help grow the newly launched Revelé Scholarship Program to train aspiring young dancers from underserved populations to become professional dancers who truly reflect the growing diversity of Boston and its environs. Congratulations to City Ballet of Boston, represented by Outreach Director Ilanga and board member Samantha Lovewell. Boston's arts organizations need our support now more than ever. Many of the organizations we were supposed to celebrate earlier this year have been reeling from closures and cancellations due to COVID-19 and are working tirelessly to think through ways they can return to their spaces and programs safely. So many of us benefit from the programs that these organizations offer. And I'd like to ask all of those who are able to find a way to support them during this difficult time. If you regularly see a show, take dance lessons, or participate in another type of creative expression through these organizations, consider making a donation this month instead. Once again, thanks to this year's grantees for their commitment to making Boston a more vibrant, equitable, and welcoming city. We look forward to celebrating your role in Boston's art sector in the years to come.